Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I want to take a couple minutes to share one of my absolute favorite VS Code plugins. It's called Code Spell Checker. It's it it's game changer. I know all the tips I share, I say are game changers, but but it totally is. I I, I only installed it this last year or so after almost a decade in this industry, and I don't know why it just didn't occur to me before that I I have my spelling checked when I write blog posts, but why not when I write code? I mean, a a misspelled word can be totally detrimental. It can trip other developers up. It could lead to bugs in production. And it, so if a, if a spell checker can help us catch that, that's fantastic. It's so great. And this extension is super, super cool because it's not just looking at words and codes, but it's it's also smart. It's looking at uh, casing to break words up. And you know what? Let's Let's just see it in action. I have it installed. And here's an empty file that's uh, set to be a, a React file. So if I were to say, I'm just going to call it my component. And look, it, it's, it's underlining on the fly. And it's telling me something's wrong here. So let's just keep doing that and say, we're going to say, hello world. Oh, look, I spelled that wrong too. I See, I need this thing. I can't spell anything correctly. But it's great. If I uh, hover over that, it tells me, Rural is an unknown word. And so I click my little uh, light bulb here and I can just change it. Or what's very, very, very cool here is I have my own dictionary here on my on my machine. So I can say, nope, actually that's a real word and it's gonna store it uh, on every project for and, and work for every project on this machine. Or if it's just like a goofy misspelling, but it's intentional and it's for this specific project, I can add it to the workspace space dictionary instead, and then it only affects what I do with this project. Uh, or I can just change it to what it should actually be. Now, I wanted to call your attention over here. This is really cool here because notice that uh, this that, that my is not underlined, but that what was supposed to be the word component is underlined, and so it's using that that change in case as uh, as as a word break and saying, I know this word is misspelled, but my is totally fine, and I can hit my little uh, light bulb here again and then change it. Or again, if I if I wanted to allow it, I can do that. Now, something that tripped me up recently is that it wasn't working on one particular type of file. And here I am on a, a Nunjux file. And let's say I do that same thing here, hello world, and, and, I, and I spell it wrong. I'm not, I don't have that cool little underline. Well, that's because there are only a handful of languages that are enabled by default. And so what I can do is I can go to my, my preferences and uh, we'll say, Open settings. Oh, that's my JSON settings. I wanted to show you the uh, the other one first. Open settings. There we go. Holy smokes. Okay, so we're gonna say C spell because that's the shorthand of the plugin. And notice that there's this section here called enabled language IDs, and this is what we have by default. Uh, I recently added MDX, but now what I'll add here is NJK, which I believe is my Nunjux extension. And actually, what is, let's see here. Oh, it is It is actually Nunjux all lowercase here. So where did my, let's change this to Nunjux, and then we'll get rid of this guy. Okay, and look at that. Now it's enabled and it's working for my Nunjux file. And, and the reason I went to this UI version here, I thought it was a little bit easier to manage because if you're gonna change it at all, then you have to rewrite everything that a uh, code spell checker is has enabled by default if, if you wanna keep those in place. Uh, so if I, if I go over to my JSON settings, you'll notice that because I did that, it's got now it's listed all of these things out. So if you were gonna go directly into the JSON uh, settings, you you might still wanna 
copy all of those. That's that's the only reason I had done that. But anyways, I hope that's useful. Definitely install this thing. Start checking your code. Lead, it might lead to fewer bugs in production and everybody's happier when there are fewer bugs, right? Yeah, okay. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.